So you've done film music. How, how did that A long time ago. I mean, are you still interested in that? I love film music, but the, the business of film music, I'm not interested right. in because, you know, you do a film and if you want to be in the industry, you kind of have to keep working on films. You can't just do a film and stop for a year or two years and then work on another film. And right. you sort of have to have a team <clears throat> around you. Otherwise you can go crazy. And I don't want to handle a team of people. Yeah. And if you really want to be in the business, you kind of have to start out as an assistant. I didn't want to be an assistant. Yeah, so yeah. there was all these, like, there's all, there was all this friction from the very beginning that yeah. I didn't want to deal with that yeah. had nothing really to do with writing the music. Right. And I'm really glad that I didn't go that route because I, I don't think I would have experienced any of the things that I've done yeah. up to this point. Yeah. I mean, I, I made a lot less money <laughs> than I could have. Right. But I am really happy that I wrote these pieces that, that got me to where I am now. And I'm yeah. happy that I went to Juilliard. I'm happy that I went to Columbia for a doctorate. I'm happy to have the doctorate. I didn't think I would be happy to have a doctorate. Yeah. I didn't want to do that at all. Really? But um, for whatever reason, that, that's just how life happened for me. And I'm still in contact with some of these film composers. Yeah. Uh, and, I'm, and I actually want to get more of them on the mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. because I think it would be interesting to, to see uh, the film composers that are interested in concert music, I mean, because right. some of them are writing concert music. Right. Like James Dune Howard, uh, I did a show with him, and he was we wow. were talking about his violin and concerto and things like that. Wow. And uh, I just did one uh, with Bruce Broughton, which is up online mm -hmm. by now, uh, who did Silverado, and he did the main theme for the I Orville. love that movie, Silverado. Yo, you know this movie? Yeah. I watched it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, he had him. He was sitting right there. Wow. <laughs> like... <laughs> recently and but he writes concert music he has yeah. a really terrific i should connect you there's a guy like named this. jack redford who lives lived near where i did live for years in pennsylvania who's like the orchestra he's like hollywood's orchestrator oh yeah and he, i had him do a workshop for our students he just he just finished the elemental the new pixar movie he's the orchestrator for the oh really the movie. and he like conducted the little mermaid like the, the disney movie like he's the conductor on that he's over on the east coast which he's on the east coast and just, he yeah. just he does it all from from here is that something that you wanted to do at some point nah. did the film stuff or <laughs> no i never really even thought about it there's so many jazz musicians yeah that can improvise well like uh, chris bowers yeah the, who graduated from juilliard with the jazz degree right. in piano he he does films <clears throat> yeah and that kind of thing and for whatever reason the, a lot of those jazz pianists yeah. they can they can write they can, they can write. they're fast <laughs> yeah yeah but i do think of like films i mean when i think about how i think about music i i think there's sort of like a just a dramatic pacing kind of connects to films in a way you know like creating this vibe and this mood and this atmosphere and i mean it's maybe that's like a, a no-brainer but i mean just the pacing of the ideas i guess when you're doing film music obviously you have to hit the mark with the pacing of the film obviously right. but i think it's you know, creating the world, like doing a, a choral piece, like that that sacred piece, you know, I'm going to try to create a world where I really capture this poem that I love so much. It's a poem that the president of the seminary loved, a John Donne poem. And I'm a Christian composer, so I also love John Donne. So and I, I had that poem, you know, circled in my book for years. Like, I would love to do this poem. And then they commissioned me to set that very poem, you know, that I had loved. So I'm trying to, I think of it as sort of like a film where I'm trying to hit the marks, you know, because the poet is, you know, broken, 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 then finally hopeful at the end. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I want the music to, you know, to do that, I guess, the same way a film composer maybe would. Yeah, like text that. painting text or, you know, painting, like yeah. doing this kind of plot outline, narrative outline, Yeah, which um, I guess you can do with absolute music, too. Right. I mean, you have, you know, the Berlioz Symphony Fantastique. That's like probably yeah. the most famous example yeah. of that. Where yeah. you just make up a story. But when you have text, obviously, you yeah. you, you go you go in on that yeah. you know, with, with this idea. Yeah, I guess you could write, write your own story and then write yeah. the music that would go with your story. But with the <laughs> film, of course, you know, you're, it's not your story. It's not your anything. You're kind of like this uh, person that usually comes at the end. But if you're lucky, yeah. you're involved in the beginning yeah. with the script and you can at least... Yeah. Get some ideas in the director's head. Yeah, but you're, often it's not that way. Yeah, you're definitely serving the serving the director. Yeah. yeah. Obviously there is this kind of uh this kind of balancing act, right? Because, you know, the less control you have over over something, usually the more uh the more income you get from it because, you know, they want you to do something. You're providing a service. But when it's the other way and you have the most control, yeah. right? 
well, you have the control. Why would we have to pay you? <laughs> right. So that's kind of the the problem I feel like in our our little concert music world that yeah. that we're facing all the time. It's like, well, we're letting you do whatever you want. Why should we, you know, why should we also pay you on top of that? Yeah, there are things. It almost feels like the the performance is the pay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it seems like we're going to play your piece.